Hi guys, Kobe Skeen here. I'm a certified financial planner and today we're going to look at investing your money offshore. What's the ins and outs and how anyone can invest offshore? Without any further ado, why would anyone want to invest money offshore? I think the main reason is to lower your risk through diversification. If your entire investment is locally based, you're basically investing in an economy that makes up about 0.6% of the global economy. Would you consider yourself diversified? Which brings me to my first point. You can lower your risk through diversification. And number two is lower your political risk. Currently, South Africa finds itself in a very unstable political environment. With that said, it's important to invest in more stable offshore markets. Number four, lower your geographical risk. Imagine there's a major disaster in a specific region. What would happen to your investment? So it's important to protect your investment against any such disaster. The initial thought of investing money offshore might seem daunting and out of reach for most, but I'll show you how anyone can invest offshore. So what's the main difference between both of them? With a direct investment, your money physically leaves South Africa and is paid into an offshore bank account. Your money never has to return to South Africa. It can be paid out to your offshore bank account when you want to access it. It's important to note that you're limited to the amount of money you can take offshore per year. It might not be possible for everyone because you invest in very strong currencies offshore. So the entry levels for a direct offshore investment might be very high even by South African standards. For the indirect investment, you make use of local investment vehicles, such as unit trusts, endowment policies, retirement annuities. You're basically investing in a local investment and making use of offshore funds within your investment. This allows you to invest offshore by making use of offshore funds within your investment. There's also no limit to the amount of money you can take offshore per year, unlike a direct investment. With the indirect investment, although you will enjoy the benefit if the RAND devaluates, your money still has returned back to South Africa. So the benefit here is very limited. The entry levels for an indirect investment are much lower. You can invest a lump sum or a monthly contribution and it can be as little as a few hundred rand a month. This allows anyone to invest offshore. Well guys, I hope that you found this video in some way interesting or valuable. And if so, smash that like button and subscribe. The idea of this channel is to take what can sometimes be a complex financial topic and explain it in a very easy to understand manner. I'll do a part two where I dig into a bit more technical detail, where we'll look at the differences such as tax, limits, etc. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Or if you needed more info, my contact details are linked in the description below. So pop me a mail, give me a call, um, and I'll see you in the next one.